Welcome. In this video, we're going to add in a couple jobs so that GitHub Actions can run tests. In GitHub Actions, you'll be working in a virtual machine, and like when it was on your local machine, you have to set up a Sauce Connect tunnel and make sure your app is running in order to do a test in Sauce mode through the Sauce Labs VMs. The first thing that you're going to do is set up a job that'll do a test build before you try to actually build and run your tests. The first job that you set up will be very basic called build web app. It'll run on the latest Ubuntu machine and it'll have a couple basic steps. You're going to use two actions, the checkout version two action, which checks out your code into the virtual machine and the setup node version one action, which will set up node so you can use it within your virtual environment. First, you're going to install your dependencies with npm install. Then you're going to build your app. There is a variable called the CI, which changes some settings. And with node, we need to set this to false. The last thing you'll want to do is actually build your app before you create a long test job. Now that you actually have a job created, you want to check the syntax and the structure with a linter and then commit your build to GitHub to make sure that your actions and secrets are all set up. At this point, you might notice that some assets are being generated, either by your framework or by the test runner toolkit. It's never a good idea to upload assets to GitHub, and you probably don't want to upload those to Sauce every single time either. So what you can do is use your Sauce ignore and your git ignore file to ignore these. The first time that you do this, you might have generated some already, so you'll want to go in and remove these assets as well. Once you have any large assets removed, you can try out pushing your repo to GitHub. Once you push the repo for the first time, if everything's set up right, you should check GitHub Actions and be able to see this build job that you have set up. Now we're going to add a longer test job into our CI pipeline. Right after the build web app job, you're going to put a test web app job at the same level. This one will also run on the latest version of Ubuntu and we'll add in a needs field to say you need to run the test build first. The next thing you're going to need to do in this job is install Python. In this case, we'll do version 3.7. This is used to serve the app you are testing. You could use Node.js. However, there could be race conditions between the Node.js instance used to test and the one that you're using to serve your web app. The next thing that you'll want to do after installing Python is use the GitHub checkout action version two to check out the code in your repository. In this case, it will use the latest commit so that it's accessible in the Ubuntu instance and you can build your app and run your tests. The next thing you're going to do is use node package manager to install any dependencies that you'll need to run your app. And then you're going to build the app again, setting the CI variable as false. Now that your app is built and running in your virtual environment, we're going to use Sauce Connect Tunnel. You'll use a curl command to download a file onto your virtual environment. Next, we'll use the same command that you would use on your computer to start running a Sauce Connect Tunnel. Notice in this case how you use your Sauce username and Sauce access key that's stored in your GitHub secret. However, after the I flag, you'll notice something that creates a new proxy tunnel each time you run this workflow. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Now that you have your app built and your Sauce Connect tunnel up and running, you're ready to use Sauce CTL to run tests that are in GitHub Actions on the Sauce Labs VMs. First, you need to install Sauce CTL using a curl command. Once Sauce CTL is installed, you'll want to serve up your app on port 8000 using the Python 3 server. You'll run your test using the sauce CTL run command, and again, using the config YAML file in the sauce directory. If you take a look at this command, you'll see that you're running it on sauce labs VM in the test environment of sauce. The tunnel ID used by this command also uses the GitHub run ID that was generated when you spun up your sauce connect tunnel in an earlier command. Now, all you need to do is go into your base URL variable and make sure that it matches the port that you use to spin up your app. 
you want to pay extra attention to make sure that everything in Test Runner YAML is formatted correctly with the correct indentation and spelling. You can use a linter to check your YAML file, and you can also go through to make sure that things are indented using the sample code. Once you're sure that everything is formatted and spelled the way it's supposed to, try committing your actions to GitHub. Once you have a correctly formatted and spelled Test Runner YAML committed to GitHub, you should see the build and test jobs kicked off. After giving actions a little bit of time to finish the build action and begin the test action, you should be able to go into the Sauce Labs dashboard and see that there's a unique tunnel spun up just for this GitHub action. Once the test is started running, you'll be able to see it in the test results dashboard. If everything was set up correctly and you are successful, you should see successful tests on the dashboard as well as a successful set of workflows in GitHub Actions. Mm -hmm.